When we talk about the difference of cubes, it's easy to get lost in the formula they give you. Because often what happens is you're thrown this formula. It says, okay, if you're subtracting x cubed and y cubed, this means you're subtracting cubes, and it's the difference of cubes, and we can factor this out to x minus y, and then multiply it by x squared plus x times y, and then add y squared, and you're taught how to apply this formula. It feels great. It's even kind of easy to show that if you multiply these two terms, you do indeed get this. But for me, I'm a visual kind of guy, and I like to see how things work. So here, uh, I, when, I, when I was messing around with this, I realized that x cubed and y cubed, well, we're talking about cubes. So if I, if I want to model this, I can look at these pictures here. Let me think about, it really simply, about 2 cubed, and then let's take away a 1 cubed. Well, that's the same thing as taking 8 and subtracting 1. And there I'm just taking 2 cubed, which is 8, and then 1 cubed, which is just 1. And I'm modeling it out, I would get 7. And that would be my answer. But I really want to see what's happening with the actual picture, because that might help me understand this formula. And that's the goal right here. So let's pretend that if I put this cube here, right, we've got this shape. And what is this shape? Well, it's a shape that um, is 2 cubed. It's 2 this way. It's 2 that way. So the width and the depth and the height are all 2. That's a 2 cube. And of course, look at this shape. 2 cubed is 8, right? Because what's happening? Well, if we explode this shape and pull it apart, we get 8 pieces, 4 on the top, 4 on the bottom. So we can see that, okay, 2 cubed is 8. That's our first part. And we feel great. But then, what are we doing? We're subtracting another cube. This is the difference of cubes. So when we subtract them and we're looking at the difference of cubes, what we're saying is, pull this red one out of there. What's left over? Well, now this is no longer a 2 by 2 by 2. It's something else. And that's the goal of the difference of two cubes. It's to understand what this thing is. What is it? Well, again, it's really fun to take a shape and blow it apart and think about what's left. This shape is the result of the difference of two cubes, and what we see is, when we explode it, is we get one individual cube. We get another kind of rectangular prism thing that's two by one, and a third shape that's two by two. And this kind of helps us see that really what's happening, when you take the difference of two cubes, you're going to get one term, right, here, in this case, let's look at the numbers. We'll work this out. We'll get x minus y, so it's 2 minus 1, times x squared, so that's, that's 4, right? 2 squared is 4, plus 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 1 squared, which is 1. And if we simplify this, we get 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, times 4, plus 2, and plus 1. So... Actually, I'm going to rewrite this a little bit to fit what's happening in the picture. Instead of simplifying it, I'm going to say 4, four that was 2 by 2. And here, 2 times 1, well, that's 2 by 1, of course. And then 1, we'll get that from having a 1 by 1. And now I see how this connects to the picture. Because what is this shape? Well, it's 1, 1 by 1 cube. So this number right here tells us the number of pieces we have of a certain dimension. So we have one piece that's one by one. It's right there in the formula. Here it is, a one by one cube. We have one piece that's two by one. Here it is in the picture. And we have one piece that's two by two, right here in the picture. So not that I'm proving that anything here, I'm just showing how the formula connects to what's happening. And we can keep going with this and look at other examples. Okay, let's look at this next example. Here, I'm trying to model um, another difference of cubes. Now we've got this original blue cube, which is 3 by 3 by 3, right? And that means 3 cubed. And this red piece needs to go back in, so there's a 3 cube. And we're going to take this red piece away. So that's like subtracting a 1 cube again. 
Okay, so what should we get? Well, 3 cubed is 27. That's the volume of this original cube. And we're taking one cube away. Well, our new volume is 26, and that's great. But the goal, again, is to, to understand what you get when you subtract one cube from another. That's the name, right? Difference of cubes. So here, what is this shape? That's the mystery, and that's the premise of the formula. So when we explode this shape and look at the pieces that are left, we have two little unit cubes, right? Those are right here. We have two three by one rectangular prisms. Let me just want to use arrows here. And we have, and those are right here, one, two. And then here we have another and another flat piece. Those are three by three pieces. And that's that is the difference of these two cubes exploded. It looks like this. And exploded just means blow it apart, look at the pieces. So and this fits the premise of the formula. Now the formula says, I'll write it again, if you have x cubed minus y cubed, what you do is you take x and y and subtract y from x, multiply by x squared, you add x times y, and then you add y squared. Well, that's actually happening right here in the picture. Why? Well, our x and y are 3 and 1. So x minus y is what? Well, 3 minus 1 is 2. Multiply that by 3 squared, or x squared, which is 9. I'm going to leave it as 3 by 3 so we can look at this shape. Then we add it to 3 times 1, right, x times y. And then we add that to 1 by 1. Now, what's happening? Well, again, look at this. This first number tells us the number of pieces we have. And this tells us the shapes of the pieces we have. So we have two pieces, two, 1 by 1 cubes. We have two 3 by 1 cubes. And we have two 3 by 3 cubes. So this formula actually describes the shape that's left when we subtract two cubes. And let's look at one last example. OK, here this took me a while to set up because I guess this software just didn't really like that. I was trying to make this large of a cube. Now what are we representing? Well, again, let's set the formula up so we can quickly see what's really happening. x cubed minus y cubed. That's the same thing as x minus y times x squared, I'm talking fast, I know, plus x times y, plus y squared. Okay. So we start with this cube, which is 4 by 4 by 4. So it's a 4 cube. And then, as we've been doing so far, we can take the one red cube out of there. And the goal is to understand, after you subtract one cube, or one cubed, what is the volume of this shape, and also what is this shape? Right? We want to describe both things. So 4 cubed is 64. Take 1 cube away. Okay, so the new volume, that's easy. That's 63. But really, what are all these pieces here? Well, so there's three 4 by 4 pieces. It looks like there are three 1 by 1 cubes. This red cube shouldn't be here, right? Because we subtracted that out. And also, it looks like we have three 4 by 1 pieces right here. So let's use the formula to model these shapes x minus y, 4 minus 1, 3. So again, that'll tell us the number of pieces we encounter in the re re remaining shape. So 3 times 3 squared, oh, excuse me, excuse me, x squared, which is 4 times 4, or 16, but we're just going to leave it as 4 by 4, plus x times y, 4 times 1, plus 1 by 1, or 1 squared. And look, there it is. We have three 4 by 4 pieces. Here they are. Right, three three-dimensional pieces that are four by four. We have three three-dimensional pieces that are four by one. And we have three of them that are one by one. So again, this formula, all it's doing, as complicated as it looks, is describing what the difference of two squares is in terms of its shape. That's the goal. All right, so I hope this helped a little bit. In the next video, um, we'll look at the more challenging situation, or I think the more challenging situation, which is the sum of cubes as a picture.